Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Roots on Earth. Today we are super excited to give you an update of all that they've been working on at our house this week. It actually looks like a house now. It looks so much different now with the roof. We got our nice pointy triangle on top. Yeah. So I think next up they're going to be working on getting the roof on, uh, which we're doing a uh, dark gray uh, metal roof. And uh, actually windows too. So yeah, I, I don't know what's next actually. I gotta reach out to uh, the GC and see, but. It's it's coming along. I really hope they do this porch too, because this this little moat is, it's cool and all, but it's getting old. <laughs> Already, so much nice shade here. Oh yeah. So this is where, well not here, but one of these areas. I'm definitely gonna relax and enjoy this breeze. Oh yeah, put some rocking chairs out here. Yep. Maybe a porch swing. Come on in. So we kind of already looked at the, the first floor last time, um, but I want to point out a few uh, new changes or additions that they, they worked on. So this is a pocket door frame, which I knew they looked like this. They seem so flimsy, um, but I know this is standard. However, uh, when this is for our pantry, when the pocket door goes in, one of the hurdles that we're gonna have to figure out is how am I gonna hang a cabinet up here? Because I can't screw in too far without hitting the door. Um, so that's something that we may have to restructure our cabinets uh, to, to get this working. But my other hope is that we can maybe just screw in up here a little higher and you know, we do still have between a half inch drywall and this, we have about an inch. So using one inch in, it would just give it some sort of additional rigidity. Uh, I don't know if anyone has any suggestions on hanging cabinets over pocket doors, but um, since I'm doing the cabinet install, I need to figure that one out. 
Nathan and I love a good pocket door. Yeah. Since we're going for a very concise um, layout as well as a very functional house, we just felt like the use of pocket doors was really great for all that space. I feel like pocket doors were really busy, big in the, the 50s and, and, and earlier, right? I don't know. Fact and, check that. Yeah, fact check. Um, but they went, definitely went away. But I mean, can you imagine having a door here? I mean, I guess we would swing in, right? But then yes. you just have this door here that you're, it's always in the way and, and we're well, only gonna not, shut this. It's not a huge pantry. No. You know, where I wouldn't want the door, I don't know, just hanging out here. I think pocket door was definitely a really great choice for this space. Yeah. Um, we also have another pocket door here uh, at the entrance to our mudroom. Um, and the reason we did this is because I think most of the time this will just be kept open. open. Um, we were going back and forth in the, the very beginning, debating whether to even put in a door here. Um, but then actually we were, we were considering, well, what if we get a, a puppy, puppy. Yeah. <laughs> um, or, and you know, things like that. So the kids make a mess in here and all of a sudden somebody comes over and I just want to shut the door. Um, so that's where, again, the idea of the pocket door, we just thought that was just a really good choice for yeah. this entrance as well. So we went, we went all out with pocket doors. We have <laughs> we one, did. two, three, four, technically five pocket doors in this house, right? Yeah. Um, we're planning on living in this house until we die. So right. whoever buys it after we're dead, they can complain all they want about pocket doors. Yep. And I won't know about it. So pocket door number three, <laughs> um, this is our laundry room. And it was kind of the same idea that, okay, so if I open the door, I'm right in the hallway. Right, you're blocking the entrance to the master. If I open right. it in this way, I'm right in front of the washer and dryer. I guess we could open it this way, but we thought just do a pocket door. It's gonna be a lot easier for our washer and dryer. So this is new. Um, this was not framed out last time, so they put this in, um, which looks good. Another thing that they did was our fireplace mm -hmm. is all framed out. I am super excited about this fireplace. So someone in the comments, and I apologize, I forgot your name, um, was asking about the fireplace on one of the other videos. And I forget the model, but it's, it is a true wood burning stove insert. Um, so it is able to heat the entire house. That was one of our requirements. We, we want it to be able to heat the entire house. If we lose power, just like half of North Carolina did two weeks ago. Um, so it will have uh, the glass doors that open up as well um, and, and, and lock in. And I believe there's a fan that will help cycle the heat through. So um, it will be a true fireplace and, and uh, a true stove to actually be used yeah. to, to heat. Yeah, how great would it be to like not have to use electricity to heat this house? Yeah. Right? And then even, you know, Nathan and I have been talking about how, like, I don't want to use the word dark, but like really shaded our house is. And I'm really hoping that, you know, throughout these scalding summer months in the Carolinas, our house will really stay cool. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see, there's a lot of natural light coming in, but the sun, the sun beams aren't really coming into the house. Which so. I think is good because We've had furniture and rugs ruined, carpet ruined from sun. It's funny, our bedroom I think is the brightest room in the entire first floor yeah. right now anyway. But we're not gonna be in here on the hours that the sun is gonna be beating in in here. No. So. so we do have one dilemma here. This was supposed to be two pocket doors that would open, really cool. But apparently we have a load bearing question. So if you look up here, you can see we have double LVLs, these two yellow ones going all the way across. Mm. And I'm waiting for, I guess, the engineer to figure out exactly what we're gonna do. But if we truly had two pocket doors opening up, I believe it would be, uh, yeah, it would, it would be pretty far. I think from here to here, at least, that would be the weak little metal studs. So worst case scenario, I think we can just go down to one door here. Um, really a first world problem, but. Yeah. Do you hear that chicken song? Yeah. That's, that's the egg lang song. Walk. Yeah, that's the egg lang song. So we probably have more eggs no. nice. <laughs> in the coops to go nice. get. They sing after they lay an egg. It's really hysterical. 
Uh, should we go upstairs? Yeah, let's do it. Are you going to climb up with me? Yeah. OK. Let's do it. So the, the easiest way i found to climb is this one right oh, here. Oh, no ladder? You're killing me, Smalls. Well, it's a ladder. It's actually, it's more, it's, I feel better climbing up this way than the, what ladder? we do with, with, okay. our, with our ladder. All right, show me how it's done. Then just right here, stud, stud. Mm -hmm. I've watched the builders do this a bunch of times. Yeah. I'm not going to film and climb. No. I just feel like that's yeah. not a good choice. I don't like this. <sighs> going down is Although worse. Although I'm getting like flashbacks of my childhood and all of the forts that we built in the woods and we pretty much had ladders that looked like that. Whoa. Yeah. All right. So, the room that we crawled wow. into. It's bright in here. It this is. This is going to be a bright room. There's the sun. So, look at the roof. So, if you remember, uh, this is the radiant, bear, ba radiant barrier tech shield, I think it's called. Um, and that has that foil based backer, which is supposed to, I guess, help reflect uh, the sun and make it a little cooler here. From all the sun. But wow, look at this trust network here. It's just pretty crazy. And it looks like they did put some sheathing up here. I, I, oh, this is new. It's the first time I'm seeing this. Is that our attic? That's our attic. Hey, attic. I don't know how the stairs are going to pop down on that yet, but that's, that's our attic. So you're seeing this the first time we're seeing, <laughs> we're seeing this. Yeah. My guess is that the stairs will come down this way. Yeah. And that you climb up into, because they gave us a little little flooring up there. They did. I mean, I don't know what we're going to put up here. Things that we just I I just need thought it would have made sense to put it in this bay, because then you could at least have the stairs going down into this hallway opening. But we'll see. I mean, that's. That's great. Not a problem for us to figure out. Uh, let's look out here. So this is Brielle's room. So again, you can see the radiant barrier. Uh, we're not waterproof, but we are getting there. Because um, one of the things that they did do, they put this ep epile? Epile. Epile. Um, Synthetic roofing underlayment. So this will go right under our metal roof. Oh man. What? <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> Could we put some like secret chairs out here? The, I tell you, once our girls get a hair older and figure this out, they're totally gonna be sneaking out here with right? some chair. I mean, this is like what I mean, we would do in college. I'd sit out here. Yeah. I could sit out here and have secret powwows. There we go. This is nice. You can climb all the way up if you want to. No thanks. <laughs> so I do want to show you the chimney. I do wish we had it in our budget to do a brick chimney, but we don't. So this was an area where we were able to save a few bucks. And no one's going to see it, so it's not that big of a deal. But. A brick chimney would look pretty cool. Do you want to have a powwow? Yeah. This is a great powwow spot. Where's mom? She's hiding on the roof. <laughs> oh. True. The shade is nice here too. Mm -hmm. Can't find me, mm -mm. but I'm watching you. So I can see the entire yard. They say mom's always watching. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's hiding on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> you can really see those pines, how crappy they look. They're all falling over. Yeah. Gotta rip them out. Yeah, they gotta go. Well, that's what we did all last winter is we just ripped Dropped out trees, trees and burned. Oh look. boy. 
Yeah. Hey, neighbors, heads up. More bonfires this winter. Yeah, uh, right. I don't know if you can see down there, but there's our duck coop. Oh, yeah. Our oldest daughter has decided that the ducks need a house of their own. So she went dumpster diving the other day and is now building her own little duck coop. Good fit. Because Daffy needs to go. If you want to research something really interesting, research what happens when a duck tries to mate with a chicken, which we won't talk about on no. our YouTube channel. But yeah, so there's a reason why we have to start separating our flock, our ducks from our chickens. Um, the short, simple solution was to just have duck Eat a la orange, mm -hmm. and Natalie did not want that. So not Daffy yet. is gonna have his own little house to live in. Well, all the ducks. Yeah. But yeah, otherwise uh, Daffy would have to go. So I'm, I'm, I'm on team go, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. I'm on team. I'm so glad our kids are really getting into this homesteading life sure. and are getting really creative and learning to reuse and think of creative solutions for things. Yeah. So even if it means we keep Daffy a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, a little bit longer until the next fox comes. So. The temperature just um, the temperature difference is crazy between just sun how, and right just how cool it is in here sure well i hear another egg song oh so that's the egg sound are you no, sure no that's a that's that, a mating sound that is a i'm not in the mood i don't think you can see them the camera i hope the daffy isn't trying to mate with the chicken oh i don't know i'll check it out Are you laying eggs up there? I'm oh, is that how they're getting out? Yeah, I think so. Dino, get your ladies in line. Ladies, we're still missing eggs. How we many didn't did we lay get yet today? today. How many did we get today? Four? Three? I got, we got three. Hey. Where's my egg? Fluffy butt. You can lay it up here, I don't care. We got some cucumbers. We got a random squash that decided to grow again. Got some peas. Got more arugula than I know what to do with. This is actually little potatoes that have popped up. These are lima beans and pole beans, purple pole beans. You can see, they're starting to grow. Carrots. The little pepper plant that could, it's still going. That one is still going and that one over there is still going. I mean, they're going, I'm keeping them. There's some turnips here, the little turnip leaves. Carrots that need to be harvested, but I haven't gotten around to yanking out yet. And the beet box. Golden beets on the left, and then I waited three weeks and then planted some red beets on the right. That way I don't get an entire box full of beets at the same time. If you're interested, here's the view of the back of the house. I really need that porch on. I know, waiting for that porch. Looks good. It's almost time for me to do my stuff. Tiles. Yeah, so if you're a fan of DIY, stay tuned. We have a ton of it coming up. Well, thanks so much for watching. Um, we really appreciate everyone who has subscribed so far. 
And I actually looked at one of the metrics, it's like 82% of people watching aren't subscribed. So if you would be willing to do us a huge favor and subscribe, we'd really appreciate it as we're just inching close to, I think 700 subscribers right now. Um, you know, we're really shooting to get to that uh, thousand, um, you know, mark. So until next time, we're really excited to see what happens next. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure. So you'll just have to wait and find out. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay. Until next time. Bye. Bye.